Hi, this is Ryan from Finale Inventory, and today I'm going to be doing a how-to video on creating a sales order with split shipments. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is go to our view stock page. And the item that we will be using for this example is the apple pie. So I'd like to draw your attention to the open stock page, which is going to show you that we have a quantity on hand of 220 and also available for sale, we have 220. So let's just jump into our sales order. And for this, I'm going to create a new sale. And here we can use a unique and valid order ID or a system generated order ID. So for this one, I'll use the system generated. And I'd like to show you that this is our order ID. Our order status is editable and our shipment status is not packed or shipped. So here I can add our customer and for this one it's going to be Pi Corp. And as you can see it's going to populate our bill to and our ship to's for Pi Corp's addresses. And we're going to select our product which is going to be the apple pie and it's going to be a quantity of 10. So at this point we can mark our sale committed. And as you can see, the order status has changed to committed. So let's jump back into the stock page where I can show you that our quantity on hand is still 220. That's what we physically have. But because we have a reservation of 10, it puts our available for sale to 210. And you can see this is the sale that we're working on now. So let's go back into our sales order. And at this point, we can go to our shipment. So we can click Edit Shipment or Shipments tab. And from here, I'm going to select this black down triangle. And I'm going to choose from sublocation A2 with lot ID 0727. So for our first shipment, we're going to ship 5. And I'm going to click Save Now. And at this point, we can go into our Actions menu and print our pull sheet for our pickers in the warehouse. So as you can see, this pull sheet is going to tell our pickers to go to sublocation A2 to get the apple pie in a quantity of five. Let's just imagine that our pickers went to the warehouse and grabbed these five apple pies for sale and we can ship them. Now again, I'd like to show you that we have our order ID and it's dash one designating our first shipment and it was shipped on 817. Let's go back into our view stock page and see what happened. So now you can see our quantity on hand has changed from 220 to 215 because we shipped out five units of the apple pie and our available is still at 210 because for this sales order, we still owe five to our customer Pi Corp. So again, let's go back into the sale. And then this time we're going to be clicking the green button, which will be add shipment. And now I'd like to draw your attention to the shipment ID, which is the order ID dash two, and that's designating our second shipment. And again, I will be opening this black down triangle, and we will select five from a separate sublocation, which is A4. Now, once we're selected, we could save it and we could print our pull sheet. But for this example, I'm just going to ship the shipment. And then we're gonna go back into our sales order. And now we can see that our shipment status is fully shipped and which is why our mark sale completed button is green. So at this point I can mark our sale completed. And at the last thing that I want to show is if we go to inventory and go back to our stock, we will notice that our quantity on hand is now 210 and our available is also 210 because we have fulfilled that sale order and we have no more sales reservations. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and we will see you in the next one.